I get up, I get down, and I'm jumping around, and the rump is some rock, get so comfortable now, been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to grow, so I got an apartment across from the park, put quinoa in my fridge, still I'm not feeling great, been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to go. here we go, so put your My taxes are due. Do my password begin with a one or a two? Been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to grow. Metronome. Man, I'm up to something. Ooty la di do, thank you all for coming. I hope you like the show, cause it's on a budget. So ooty la di do, yeah. Come on, here we go, yeah. Come on. Here we go. So put your best face on everybody. Your best face on everybody pretend you know this song. Everybody come hang. Let's go out with a bang. Here we go. So put your best face on everybody pretend you know this song. Everybody come hang. Let's go out with a bang.
I'm not really sure where to start, but uh, here goes.
Oh, hey, miners. I'm Grant. And I'm Ainsley. And this is the Minor Morning. I mean, welcome to the Minor Film Festival of 2022. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for risking your lives to attend today. A Ainsley, what are, you, what are you talking about? You know, the 13th, Friday, Friday the 13th. I thought you could put two and two together. You know, Ainsley, that's like superstitious behavior, right? Like, none of that's real. Speaking of behavior, let's talk about minor film festival etiquette. As in normal movie theaters, cell phone usage is distracting and disrespectful. However, unlike most movie theaters, audience participation is encouraged. So cheer for your friends, laugh when things are funny, scream when you're scared, and sink into the pit of existential dread when confronted with the meaninglessness of life before you on screen. <laughs> or just the laughing part. There's no food allowed in the Echo Center, so don't do it. Remember that the purpose of art is to elicit a reaction. So if something bothers you, think about it and think about how you can start a conversation that makes our world a more interesting and better place. Without further ado, here are the first films for our first block. First up, we have Going Up the Country by Ben Yeager, Wes Campbell, Andrew Sweeney, and Eddie Slobodo, followed by Bark by David Burks and Alec Ethington. <laughs> Then we'll see Petals by Sage Adler, Skimming by Zachary <laughs> Skimming by Zachary Minter, and then Awesome Man by Chase Campbell. Enjoy.
But no one's worthless. We ain't deserving of everything heaven and earth is. But where it is, good. This is my home. So no one's perfect. But no one's worthless. We ain't deserving of everything heaven and earth is. But where it is, good. Northern California. Hey, they better call a paramedic in the street. They got leverage in the street. I'm a California th- and I'm heavy in the streets. 22 or 23, I'm heavy with the heat. Hit you with the top, paramedic can't save you. Really in the field, come on, bro, I know that ain't you. 2018, hell no, I ain't gon' f you, go f you. TDE and SOB, we can't lose. Mate, that's just something I can't relate to. Turn on the gang, that's just something that I can't do. All I love, bro, just something that I can't do. Rip bare feet, I get on, I was made to. Get the ground, something like a Black Panther. Tryna to touch a meal, f fan, get your bands up. Man that won't fish in the air. I ain't finna put my hands up. I wish it, 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 but I've been stuck in these streets, you in the background Ever since they took my brother, got a f*** rounds Sorry mama, two bells, took a bad route I done got my bands up, but it's back now But we've been still OT on that, on that boy I don't wanna have to do it, empty food Why these f- talking robbing, they don't do Hot Cali, tapped in, we a cook Busting on my neck, reach, get stretched Rocking with this better wear a vest Last year I was broke, young in the crest Now I show 20 better, bro Keep the rest. I wish it was I wish it was I wish it was Cause I'm black, so I put up in that all black bands in the back. If you need someone to call on the man for the test, you ain't standing for the calls, meet the man in the mask. Hana hockey is classified as a disease that causes a flower to grow in a person's throat, usually brought on by unrequited love. The Hana hockey disease is rare but deadly. Medical professionals have only found one cure. To surgically remove the flower from the throat. It's a safe and simple surgery, but the repercussions are tragic. The only other alternatives are to one, confess your love, or two, continue to let the flower grow till it suffocates you. If I had known that Danny was suffering, maybe I could have helped her with Teddy. I would have done anything to help her. Instead, she hid it, and her choice could leave the boy she loved hurt and without a best friend. Hi. Hey, what's going on? I didn't see you at school this morning. Is everything okay? Yeah, just tired. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, of course. Hey guys. Hey, Teddy. What did I miss? Hey. Nothing much. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, 
Sorry, I have to go. Oh. Okay. Oh. See ya. Okay, bye. <coughs> what the hell is that? Not here. Not here. Let's go. Come on. How long has this been going on? A couple months. What? A couple months. Danny, you should have told me. You should have told someone, anyone. You can't deal with this on your own. Is this why you haven't been hanging out with Teddy? Yeah. I thought that if I kept my distance, maybe the flower would wither away, but clearly it hasn't. Then you need to talk to him. I can't. Why? He'll only ever see me as his friend. Besides, he has a girlfriend. I can't ruin that. Then the only other option is surgery. I can't do that. It would mean forgetting everything about him, his face, his personality, he, all of the memories we have together would be gone. I cannot do that. And I can't lose you either. Danny, I am not losing you because you are too stupid to do anything about this. So please figure something out. Please. Please, Danny. Hey, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Hi, Teddy. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi. Um, uh, what was that you wanted to talk about? Um, I was just curious if we were still on for a study group tomorrow night. Well, yeah, Brooke is bringing pizza. All right. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Goodbye. Danny, are you there? your night last night. It was good. Although I honestly don't remember any of it. I was doing homework and then I just kind of woke up. Huh. Funny. I know, it's hey, strange. Danny. Where were you at the study group last night? Um, do I know you? <laughs> but seriously though, where were you? I I've gotta go. Um it was nice to meet you, I guess. Do you know him? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm not an NPC, because, like, I would know if I were an NPC. I'm a main character, actually. How do you know that? I feel like I would be a main character. Well, actually, no, that gives me a god complex. No, I don't, I don't feel like that. Or do I? Now, here's my opinion on ducks. So, you know ducks? It's okay for them to, like... Well, I got the tab. This legit? No. So it's not from Cali? Okay. This is fake. Get back here, you little. Just 
chip. No, I'm good. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> Trying to play some Uno? Yeah, bet! Uno! And that's it? I won? How'd you do that, bro? Break, dude! <laughs> How'd you beat us? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just play by the rules. Nobody's ever beat Uno. I swear, I don't know. I don't know. If you don't tell us right now, we're gonna rip. With my albino cylinder, I can finally take charge of my life. I don't have to be constrained to any limits. Now, I'm happier and better than ever. Ask your doctor about albino cylinder today. Very, very small. It has a central cleaning. I can't hear you. King over Disney Channel. The car isn't just about getting you from A to B. It's about finding yourself along the way. So this summer, find yourself in a new Chevrolet. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Right Side of the Left, where we discuss the liberal pandemonium in our great country of America. Milk! Why do the commies want us to drink it? Because they put nanobots! They put nanobots in the milk. Can you disprove this? The liberals are controlling your brain. First, vaccines. Second, nanobots and milk. Think about it. It's perfect. The, the government owns all the milk companies. Got milk, got milk, got milk, got milk. It's all coming together, isn't it? Joe Biden is pushing the left agenda to get you to drink more bovine syrup. And, and it's just, it's horrible. We can see it in the Park City School District. They are pushing the liberals. Back. <laughs> thank you for watching, and thank you, America, for support. <laughs> For supporting him.
Um, so it appears that your son um, has uh, various learning disabilities. Um, other than that, um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, so you can you can put your shirt back on. No, I, I, it's just it's. I I, I insist. Mm -hmm. um, just put your shirt back mm -mm. on. I, please just. Mm -hmm. Daddy said I don't have to. Please put your shirt back on. Daddy said I don't have to. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. Oh, let me be. Okay. I just prefer if he put his well, shirt. Well, are you daddy? No. Daddy doesn't say. Okay. Um. Well, uh. Do you have any questions for me then? Does mean I'm gay? No, it doesn't mean you're gay. It's just. I, I, I can't. Well, I, well, I'm not saying that you're not. But it's, it's, it's okay. your. No, it's, I'm a superhero. I'm suing you. I'm suing you right now. I'm just, I'm just, Child saver, that's the name. No, child liker. What? No, why would I have a solution to child saver? Cool guy. Cool man. Uh, with kids, too. That doesn't work. Captain Wife Man. Captain Wife Man? No. Oh. Awesome man, that's it. What do superheroes wear? Spandex. What? I need to tell you something. Come over. Glenn, I have to tell you something. I'm a superhero. Jesus, Marty, you always do this. Do what? Every week, you're either a superhero or a firefighter. When does it end? Swear to God, dude. And that time, you took those babies from the fire station and you told them it was going to be okay. Do you just want to see it? I want to see the babies? No. Look at my mask. Look how cool it is. You realize the investigation is still ongoing. The whole... Babies thing with the babies, you know what I mean? The thing with the babies. Yeah, that one. They're looking after me? I think I could be your sidekick. Probably. I mean, yeah, but what are we gonna do about the investigation? I don't know about this awesome man thing. You know what would really make it work, though? A camera crew. Your hair's in your eyes. It's really low. Um, there's not much crime. Some outstanding civilians. Uh, they're all pretty well behaved. For the most part, they recycle. But if they don't recycle, you know what happens. Yeezy season approaching from whatever y'all been in. From whatever y'all been wearing, a monster about to come alive again. As soon as I pull up in park the bins, we get to get this chicken like park the Have you seen him, man? Small orange hair, he littered. Um, I have not. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. Oh my 
values. I think my values are, if I see anyone bad, I do that too. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? It's my car, man. No, it's not! It's my car, bro. No, it's not! Uh, ah. It's my car. No, it's not! It's my car! Have you guys seen any crimes? No, sir, I have not. 20 bucks. 30. Have you guys seen any crime? <laughs> <laughs> Only your outfit. Good one, Cheryl. And what do I do to support local businesses? Well, I go in them, right? And I'm like, hey. Uh, offering my security, free of charge. They're like, please get out of my store. Today, I'm offering my uh, protection, free of charge. Any interest? Uh, so I'm offering my protection, security, free of charge. Um, you have to sign a legal document saying that I surrender all my rights to Austin Man. Uh, I appreciate your offer, but not today. You know, want my help? I'm trying to protect you. Like, I am trying to protect them, and they can't see that. Some people are just like foolish, man. They're brainwashed by society. What do I do to train? I like to jump. I like to swing. I like to duck. Um, sometimes I like to buy the rats from Petco and just go, and it's like strength training. What do I do to find crime in this area? Any crime here? I'll be in the alleys. I think the alleys are uh, a great place to find crime. Any crime? Because, you know, a lot of, uh, saw Batman. Why? If you saw a handsome, handsome man walk down the dark alley screaming, crime, 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 come out. Wouldn't you be a bitch for you to? Any crime? Come out. So I got 50,000 for that kid the other day. 50,000? I'm telling you, man, these buyers are absolutely insane. You know what, why don't we do? Let's get some more kids for some more cash. Okay, let's do it. Hey, yo, come here, man. Hey, come here, man. Hey, yo, come with us. Much more than this. Hey, come with us. Is that kid getting trapped? Hey, that kid's on What do you think, Grant? I mean, that was a fantastic start to the festival. What do you guys think? <laughs> but, I mean, these are all great and all, but I mean, I lost my shoe and I, I, just, I just don't know where it went. I told you, Grant. It's because it's Friday the 13th. Yeah, like, okay. I'm serious. Here, these might help. Ainsley, Ainsley, what are, what are you doing? I'm protecting you from all the bad stuff that could happen. 
you know, you know, it's, I think I'm all right. I don't know about you. I think I'm all right. If you insist. Next up, we have Life is Happening Now by Luke Berg, followed by... <laughs> Followed by Swimming with the Fishes by Kelly Laverso. Then, we then follow that up with Humphrey Dumphrey by Eric Lund and Chase Campbell. <laughs> the Investor by Eric Lund and... <laughs> the Good, The Bad, and The Burger by Andrew Sweeney and Ryder Brock. <laughs> Roll film, y'all. Twenty twenty one, the year that altered my perspective on life. The year we were able to break free from deep isolation. But a lot has changed. Ain't no surprise. Yeah, it has. It's Feeling trapped within my room for over a year with no social interaction. But I stopped thinking about it like a curse and more of an opportunity to truly find what makes me feel alive. So just take me there to A simple DM that bridged a friendship and pushed me past what I could ever imagine. If there's one thing I've learned from this past year, is to never let waiting become a habit. And to live your dreams and take the risk. Because life is happening now. So won't you love me better? I'm waiting here. I need you now. Yeah, 2021 was cool. But I'm ready for this next chapter. It doesn't, like, doesn't walk. It doesn't, it doesn't it's, it's hard, but I think. Holy shit, I might have to get this bro. How have you been? Oh my Crazy God. to see you this in real life, insane. bro. To new perspectives. To grow. To grow. And to new perspectives. And to allow ourselves to think about what makes us feel like. <laughs> this is <laughs> tough. We just got these bamboo torches. We're gonna throw some lighter fluid on this and just light them. Ooh, that was sick. Oh God. Oh. All right, let's get that drone shot. Ready? All right, let's get it. Go.
My name is Norman. Norman Norman. I am not the detective PCHS wants, but I am the detective they need. PCHS has lots of mysteries to be solved, and many of you may be wondering why I'm here today. I was hired by a private organization to investigate a theory about Mr. Fish tampering with the PCHS election results. Last year I was in Mr. Fish's minor morning show class and he was weirdly obsessed with the election. He would only have us re report about it and we couldn't report about anything else. Mr. Fish is more than just the film teacher. He runs this school. You think the superintendent or the principal is in charge of the school? It's always been Mr. Fish. You know, I've realized that every year when the election comes around, Fish is absent a lot and he's, he's pacing around the room a lot more and he seems a lot more um, out of, out of focus. You know, I think the whole misconception about this thing is that showing control makes you think you have a choice. They make the students think they have a choice in who runs this building. They don't. It's all fish. It's all Kyle. I don't really know why I'm here, but I have noticed that every time the election rolls around, Mr. Fish acts really fishy. Now, I can't say much about who hired me, but I was hired by a secret agency to get to the bottom of why Fish seems to be rigging the Stuco elections. All right, here is Mr. Fish. His first name is Kyle. I don't know. Go, go, go back. All right. He has been rigging the Park City High School elections. All of them are in film, ACA, or the minor morning show. All of these people. First, we have the senior class president of 2017, Jane. And then we have the senior class president of 2017, Xander. Here we have the senior class president of 2018, Bennett, and the student body president of 2019, this is Charlie. Here we have 2020 student body president, it's Noah, but there's no connection, he's not in any of these things. Go back to the thing. Here we have 2021 student body vice president, and 2021 student body president Cooper and Mark, and they are in here. And this all the shapes, like what does that have to do with fish, you know? And then over here we have Kelly, 2022. Uh, student by president, and she is connected too. So what does it all mean? Yes, it has always been Mr. Fish. For centuries, he has been spotted at extremely important political events all across the country. Yet, if he has the power to influence the election of an entire country, why is he so invested in the Park City High School election? Maybe it's because he wants free promotion for a film club and his film classes. To conduct some more research, I asked some past student body officers about their opinions. Mr. Fish? Like the film teacher, Mr. Fish? Did I win because of Mr. Fish? Absolutely not. I ran a clean campaign. Do I think he rigged the election? No. I think he could care less. I can't believe people even think that Mr. Fish could be capable of tampering with an election. But why would he care? There is no motive. There's no reason. I once saw him trying to fish out a ham sandwich from behind his mini fridge with another slightly longer ham sandwich. Guy's all over the place. Did he offer me help? Well, yeah, of course he did. He wrote my speech and did my campaign and all my posters and my slogans. But he did the same thing for Cooper and Mark. He's just a good guy. He was in his office, just on his computer, and I glanced over and he kind of picked up an eraser and smelled it and just popped in his mouth and swallowed, didn't even chew. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit outrageous. The fact that my blood, my sweat, and my tears went into that campaign. You're trying to say that I meant nothing? That I would've won either way? Because of Mr. Fish? Get it, Chris. He does not have the organizational skills or capacity to, say, pay off a custodian to place some film equipment in the front office to get an administrator password that needs to change the results of the student council election. That's just way beyond anything that he could ever put together. I just have a couple questions for you. 
Sure, happy to answer any questions you have. So, there seems to be a lot of evidence, once I've talked to a couple of former Stuco members, that you have been rigging the Stuco elections all of these years. Uh, excuse me? What do you mean? You, you have been committing election fraud to get your favorite students into key Stuco positions. <laughs> um, yeah, no. If anything, I try to keep my students out of the student council. But on the church. Yeah, because listen, when a student gets a student council position, they don't have any time left for film class, for making films, and so I have no motivation to get my students into the student council. But it doesn't... Plus, I bet two-thirds of those students who won probably could have won the election even without me rigging it from behind the scenes all these years. Wait, no, what, what did you, what? I said I haven't been rigging the election. What? No, 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 go back to the tape, go back to the tape. I said I haven't been rigging the elections for the What? No, 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 no. I spent the past week conducting interviews and looking for evidence against Mr. Fish. However, after weeks of searching, I feel defeated. Maybe some mysteries aren't meant to be solved. And I'm a senior, so I don't really care anymore. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the economy back together again. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the economy back together again. Humphrey, what are you doing? 
talking about your tracks, there's nothing time. There's nothing special. You are nothing special! Go! Go! Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Victor Dukit, the investor. Come here. Nice to meet you. Today, you'll learn the wisdom of becoming a master of money, like I am. Oh, hi. Now that's good. That's the sweet stuff. Oh, where were we? That's good. I raise one hundred. I raise two hundred. You ain't getting nowhere like this, Victor. I call. That's good. You're a dumb, dumb soul, Vic. I'm all in. Full house, ace high. Read them and weep. Have you heard the story of the hot rod race with the Fords and Lincolns was set in the pace? That story is true. I'm here to say I was done. Let's make a deal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the deal maker will be with you shortly, Vic. He'll cut you a deal. That day, I learned a very important lesson. Never dump, always pump. Take it all, never take it small. Oh man, that's awesome. That's me, King of the Hill. I own all the cash, but no man can be king. That brings us to our next lesson. Then a deal's a deal, Victor. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, yeah, and uh, by the way, my friend opened up this new bar in town. If you could go buy a few drinks and support him, that'd be, that'd be a shoot show, all right? Thanks, champ. See you around. What was that? 
What did I just sign? <sighs> See? If the right chip's down, the proper leverage, you can get out of anything. I learned a very important lesson from that day. The ruler isn't Obama or God. It's cash. Cash is king. Strongest stuff you got. <sighs> Strong stuff, huh? <laughs> no kidding. But you know what they say. Relief is fleeting. Hey. Seem like a smart fella. Let me buy you a few more drinks. That's what she said. It's me or the crypto. Hmm. I take the crypto any day. You know the worst financial tool ever given to the American consumer? What? The debit card. Mm. See, I've I've never owned a debit card. I will never allow anyone else to own a debit card. With the debit card, all of the leverage. I mean, Fiat. Really, where's the value in that? I miss Nixon. You know, people were so soft. You go, you go to the local gas station, buy a pop for a dime. Good times, you know. And that's when, that's when the German submarine fired a torpedo, blew up my platoon, <laughs> killed all of my friends and company. <laughs> that's a good one. If you don't mind my asking, how much money do you make? Huh? We've had a lot to drink. I'd say I get by. I make a dollar or two every now and then. In fact, I just made a very big deal. Would you say that you have spare change to invest? I would say I'm swimming in it. Have you ever heard of Bitcoin? I have. That new fancy stuff. You know, I prefer the cold hard cash. Generally, I would agree, but I think that you should buy some. How much? It was $6 at the time. I said no. I'm glad I did. Because today, I bought one Bitcoin for $38,000. Where I rather own $6 worth of Bitcoin or $38,000 worth of Bitcoin. The choice is simple. Patience is key. To myself a cheeseburger. Sorry, boss, that one got the last one. That's my burger. I paid for that burger right there. I'm serious, boy. This is your last chance. I think that scares me. Hey, take it outside. Salt flats, 530 sharp. Don't be late.
do you like my handy steed? That there piece of cow darn? You call yourself a cowboy. You ain't from round these parts. This here is my territory, and I don't take kindly to strangers. And just what are you gonna do about that? Let's do this draw and you'll find out. On my count. One. Two. Three. Sixty-seven! Sixty-eight! I'm tired of this crap! Can we hurry up and shut each other? Sixty-nine! You know, I never did get that burger. In and out. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime and I want to spend some time with you. Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us I love an enemies to lovers trope <laughs> And burgers Now I'm thinking about a burger from In-N-Out I mean personally, I'm more of a Five Guys kind of guy Oh, so you're an unbeliever and a Five Guys guy? Who let you host this show? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because there's no food allowed in the theater anyway. <sighs> oh, well, I can't drive there and back in 10 minutes anyways. 10 minutes? Yep, it's time for our intermission. See you all back here in 10. Tonight is the night to let it 
temperature Cause to me she's zero degree She cold over freeze I got that girl from overseas Now she's my Miss America I cannot be her soldier please I'm fighting for this girl On the battlefield of love Don't it look like baby Cupid Sending arrows from above Don't you ever leave a side of me Indefinitely not probably And honestly I'm down like the economy Baby don't worry Smell of wine and cheap perfume For a smile they can share the night It goes on
Oui, on en So, did you ever make it to In-N-Out? I don't want to talk about it. Um, okay. Why? Well, I figured I wouldn't be able to make it to In-N-Out in time, so I decided to do the Wordle instead. And how'd that go? I lost my streak. And I'm telling you, today is an unlucky day. I'm, I mean, like, wow. It, it just appears that you're just projecting all your problems onto this day. No, maybe the superstitious spirits just hate me or something. Speaking of which, for our next film, we have Dave Hates the Earth by Chase McClellan. Then we will see Lightweight by Isaac Adame, followed by Calendar Man by Leon Marsh and Alex Zolan. Roll film. Hi, my name is Dave. I'm 21 years old, and I hate recycling. Global warming, pollution, who cares? We're all gonna die anyways. It's just a big conspiracy theory. It's just a bunch of companies like Walmart and all that crap trying to just get their materials back. I say screw it and suck it, chump. These are all my outstanding tickets right here. They add up to about, I'd say about 15K. My goal is to get a ticket for littering in all 50 states. Dave has over 440 littering tickets racked up through 41 different states. Recycling is just a scam. The big companies just want you to give their materials back so they can keep business costs down. You have to follow the money to see the truth. Even if you throw it away, it all just goes back to them. Excuse me, young man. Can I help you, Grandma? You can't leave your trash around all willy-nilly. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna stop me? Recycle this. Ow! My hip! This right here is my stockpile trash. Sometimes when I get angry or when I just feel like it, I go outside and I just throw it. Just throw it out in the bushes. I like to litter. It's about personal freedom for me. What do you think about animals eating your garbage and dying? What are you talking about? Trash just like turns into dirt or something. Actually, it can take thousands of years for plastic to grow. No, no, that's a myth. I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, and it can get into the ocean and create microplastics that are really dangerous. Are you sure? I think that's just what the left wants you to think. Here, look at these pictures. These are real? 100%. They're not propaganda? I actually took pictures. We show Dave images of pollution all around the world and the impact that his littering has on the planet. Look at how sad these are. A turtle caught in a net, elephants caught in a pile of trash. <coughs> you okay, buddy? No! But I'll just turn in the dirt. No idea what happened to it. No, no. He just learned that his actions have consequences. I realized the damage I've done. I probably killed the equivalent of a few hundred turtles. I must make things right. 
Dave realized the consequences of what he was doing and started the largest nonprofit organization the earth has ever seen. He felt so guilty from killing all of those innocent turtles and pollution. You'll see him out on the streets now, picking up after himself and more importantly, after others, and being an example of what it means to recycle. Dave's favorite piece of recycling is Pringles cans. He likes them because he gets to eat the crumbs out of the bottle, a luxury he doesn't otherwise enjoy. Because he's poor. <laughs> the earth has never been green. Hey, it's me, um, just, I need to talk to you, um, just, uh, call me back whenever you can, bye. Сейчас, а потом ты уйдешь, ты уйдешь, а я останусь, та не странное сердце, бестолковая усталость, я буду бояться остаться один на один, с этой комнатой цветных пелерин, тобой связанных на мне пелерин, целуй меня, целуй меня, целуй меня. Пока еще что-то 
Truth is, I thought it mattered. I thought that music mattered. But does it bollocks? Not compared to how people matter. Hi, I am the Downer, and I'm Dawson's next up and coming boy. Some people may think that my gimmick is lame, but at least I look cooler than this guy. I do my crimes on national holidays except for the month of September because, well, it's my favorite and it hosts my birthday. So you better watch out, Batman, because one day you won't see yours truly coming. The Counter Man. What the hell? I didn't know Robin was such an asshole. What's up? Oh, no, no, I'm just uploading a YouTube video for one of the Calendar Man things. You're really still in the supervillain stuff? Well, if I want to kill Batman, I need to have a master plan, and putting myself out there on YouTube helps with that plan. Every Batman villain in Gotham would like to kill Batman, and you don't see them posting YouTube videos. Get a job so I don't have to pay all the rent. I don't think you have the slightest chance to kill the guy. Anyway, how's work? Oh, what, you mean Staples? I mean, why do you ask? You want a job there or something? No, Brian. I don't need a job. I just need discounts at Staples so I can work on my villain costume. Listen, Julian. I prefer if you call me Calendar Man. I'm not going to call you Calendar Man. Yes, you are. You're going to call me Calendar Man. No, I'm not going to call you Calendar Man. You're because literally making no, a YouTube video. I am you know, I'm not going to call you by villain. your YouTube channel, okay, man. No, I'm your friend. I'm I'm the okay, okay, okay. You do the super villain thing for one more week, and if nothing happens, that's it, okay? I mean, all right, fine, dude, but what the hell happened? You used to be, like, cool until you're, like, just boring and it's all about working with you. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm looking at my stuff, and I'll just see in a couple seconds then, I guess. Yeah, I, I just need to finish. Which one are you thinking? American muscle cars or inspirations? Wait, wait, wait. What are you gonna do with a calendar? I'm the calendar man. That's my entire gimmick. I kill people with calendars. I can make big crimes with calendars. All right? If you have a problem with that, you should come up with a better name. Just wait a minute, one second. Your whole plan is to kill Batman using those calendars when I'm pretty sure I can do more with a kite than you can ever do with a calendar. What? A, a kite? No, okay, no. This does not have to do with my master plan to kill Batman. You know what makes, like, Killer Croc and Scarecrow and all those guys, like, terrifying? It's because, like, you know, they go around and they actually have something scary about them, which I don't think a calendar is really going to do. Listen, I don't want to be a 10-foot scary-ass crocodile, all right? And he eats people, man. I'm not a cannibal. And besides, no one knows who the hell he is. Okay. Listen. Within a week, I promise.
promise you, I'm gonna be the number one villain in Gotham. You just need to trust me, sit back, and relax, okay? Well, let's go see this suit of yours, Calendar Man. Hey man, are you done yet? No. What do you think? Jesus, man. You look like if Elmo joined ISIS. Really? Yeah, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I really like this. I mean, that's good you like it, you know? I mean, I'm sure all your buddies back at Comic-Con will enjoy the same thing, too. Wait, there's a Comic-Con this year? I don't know. Wow. Jesus, this is painfully generic. Give me damn money. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this guy, okay? Just stay back. You wanna, you wanna fight him alone? Yeah, alive? just... Be my guest. Baby. Do you know who the hell I am? Oh. I am the calendar man. It's been one week since you looked at me. Cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. Oh. Saying get back together, come back and see me. Three days in the living room. I so really good. It's all my fault, but couldn't tell you yesterday. Forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Hope that now I'll watch the hood wink, cause I'll make you stop think. You'll think you're looking at a man. I'm a fish to the dish, although I like the shallow shoes, I like it, I'm not sure. It's been one week since you looked at me. Threw you up in the air and said you're crazy. Five days since you tackled me. I still got the red rims on both my knees. It's been three days since the afternoon. You realize it's not my fault, but I'm only too soon. Yesterday, you've forgiven me. And now I'll sit back and wait till you say you're sorry. No problem, man. What's the idea in the form of that version of the game? Calendar Man, it appears that you have something that I desperately want, but I have many, many things waiting for you. Do you think you have what it takes to play my game? Actually, scratch that. You don't have a choice. Play my game, or you will suffer the worst punishment in human history. The deletion of your dearest month of September. That's your birthday month. Right? Julian? You're probably wondering how I can do all this. But that shouldn't matter right now. Play my game, and I will allow you to stop. But if you cheat, you will force my hand. Bye bye, September. Looks like September won't be coming anytime soon. See you soon, Calendar Man. Goodbye! I really don't have time for these Charlie Sheen shenanigans. So really just uh, sent me a video basically blackmailing me to delete the month of September. I don't know how he's able to do that, but anyway, he blackmailed me and he wants something and he's very serious and I don't know what to do. It could probably just be like some random guy messing with you that he's the Riddler, you know, but it's just the same as, you know, getting airdropped like inappropriate pictures on the plane. Come on, man, you gotta believe me on this. I don't want to shatter your dreams or anything, but this seems a bit much, even for like a comic book movie. All right. And I I'm pretty sure everything you said though last night was true no it's crazy i know it's it was at my job i just got a letter or something like that i think 
No, I'm gonna come pick you up. Yeah, he wants to meet some more. Just uh, bring change your clothes. I really don't want to wear these things. Of, you know, go meet this guy. Is that him? Is it? You know, I get blown from a bridge or maybe a hospital, but I don't see how doing a month is even humanly hey, possible. Listen, Brian, if Riddler somehow does have this machine that can just delete months, okay, one, my birthday's gone, one twelfth, my gimmick is gone, all the other birthdays are gone, and plus, how are you going to remember 9-11? Hey man, are you Riddler's guy? This is your first challenge. You can pass me. Listen, I just want to know. I'm serious. Where'd he go? Up here. Yeah, just go. Go, 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 go. I think I have an idea. There's nothing on here. No, wait, wait what is that? Besides that. Well, you can try turning it around, probably. Do we, do we call him? I guess. for your call. We played your game, Riddler. Where's the machine? Calendar man, calendar man. I have one final riddle for you. What every villain seeks, setting it up may take weeks. What am I? Uh, a warehouse, a lair. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! You got it very good! I got an idea. Step one, introduce the kite man. Kite man? Yeah, kite man. What a kite, are you serious? You can have him run around the battlefield like I'm maybe Captain America, just mad for these bullets to deflect off of it. And how do we do that? Well, for one, we wait for the Jolly Green asshole to send us to his location, right? Then we suit up. Do a couple you know, badass things and we confront him. <laughs> Step three kill him, become Gotham's number one villain. After we kill Riddler, we take his mask. Then we play around with him. And after, we burn Gotham's memory, leaving us to become the number one villain. That easy. Yeah. You 
You ready? Let's go catch a screen faster. What do you get when you cross the 2008 mortgage crisis with a middle-aged woman named Karen? What? what? Really? It's revenge, guys. Revenge. That's like the easiest one I have. What? What? Did you really even expect us to even get that? Listen, Neanderthals. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Where's the machine? It's here. Somewhere. Wait, hold on. Are you telling us there isn't a machine that can get rid of months? We just went on your wild goose chase, man. Where's the machine? Yes, but you can't imagine how easy it was to find you working at Staples. Wait a minute. How do you even know that? Well, I have my sources. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Edward. Oh, so you do remember me. Wait, what, what, what's going on here? Let me guess, there isn't even a machine, is there? No, there isn't a machine, Brian. This has all been one massive riddle to get you to me. You see, after you took my job from me at Staples, I only had one thing on my mind, to destroy you! Man, this whole thing's been one waste of time anyway. Just get out of here. And tell me, where exactly do you think you're going? They don't need this. We don't need that. Oh my god, not again. Quiet! Man, it feels like we made these whole suits just so we can star in his adult movie parody. What did I just say? You take me by giving me away. What am I? Revenge. Goodbye, Brian. Ready for another beating ship? Come to ruin the fun again, Batman! I see you found more criminal stats for my kill count. I caught them first, Batman! They're mine to kill! As long as I get to beat you sorry criminals to a pulp, it's all fun and games from here. Be careful what you wish for, Batman. Your death will be quick. Brian! It's 
I'd work. Wanna know one final riddle? Not really. <laughs> Besides a knife on my chest, I think we can survive the ugliest Batman. Now the Riddler's dead, you guys have to now fill his void of being the worst villains. What do you have to say about that? No, no, we, we didn't. So what do we call you guys? days are numbered. I mean, if you really think about it, aren't all of our days numbered? Yeah, but I meant it as like a pun, you know, like how days are numbered on a calendar. Well, like, like yeah, like, yeah, I got that, like, I get it. Sure, sure, I know. Sure you did, Grant. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, our final films for tonight are Vinny and the Boss by Brent Allen Johnson. <laughs> to Catch and Prosper by an anonymous filmmaker? What? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, after that we'll see Alone Again by Eddie Slobodo and Ben Yeager, and finally Atomic Number no. 8 by Maddie Lytle and Nina Ganyard. Let's do it. What are, you, what, what are you doing here? The boss wanted me to watch over him. He says he's being haunted by ghosts while he's sleeping. Oh, well, is the boss awake? The boss is still asleep. Oh, we gotta wake him up then. I don't think he'd like that very much, Vinny. Well, I have a sign his signature here that says I can wake him up without fear of being wrecked.
says you can wake him up with a reason. So what's your reason? Yeah, I gotta cook him an egg. At four in the morning? Yes, at four in the morning. Oh. Wake up, boss, you stinking geezer. <laughs> you all right, boss? Uh, skull, skull, skull. Is he having a stroke? What's a stroke? Oh, you don't know? It's, uh, it's when your brain's clotting. Oh, what are the symptoms? Oh, symptoms of a stroke may include numbness of the face and the arms and trouble speaking. Wowzers! I'm not having a stroke, you damn goons. <gasps> He's having a stroke, symptoms of which may include trouble. Yeah. What? It's not a stroke, it's not a stroke, it's a heart attack. It's just oh. a heart attack. Oh. So, uh, why'd you two, uh, wake me up? I don't like you now, you know that? That is indeed my signature. But what is your probable cause? The details. Gotta cook you an egg. Oh. So, uh, boss. How do you like your eggs? Sunny side up, but don't let me cut you scrambling. Of course. You ungrateful goon! Stupid candles, man. You know that? They don't even burn. Choose a thinker. What candles, boss? My last one's died over a year ago. Where? In this very room. <gasps> Ghost candles! <gasps> oh. 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 Must have been a dream. This must have been a dream. Hey, Vinny, can you go kill the guy in the basement for me? Cook an egg over here. Oh, then you go do it, Rocco. Okay. You've been a naughty boy, Bartolo. And for that, I must punish you. Boss, now that Rocco's gone, you can have some adult time. Capital idea, Vinny. Why? Why, of course. <laughs> stupid Vinny, you stupid Vinny. <laughs> hey, that uh, very good stand, Vinny. Where the hell boy, Mark? Oh, good. Do I get a fork in here, man? Hey, say, Vinny, what's all this green goop on my uh, egg yet? Poison. Poison what, the hood? 
<laughs> oh, getting poison. You wouldn't believe it. He slipped right up. What happened to the boss? I killed him. I killed him because he wanted me to make him an egg. Oh. Wake up, boss, you stinking geezer. <gasps> oh, you okay, boss? It's just, it's just egg. It's ghost, 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 ghost. All right, let's go make you that egg. You know what, Vinny? I don't want eggs. I want bacon. Wowzers! What happened? Where'd the boss go? It seems he might have just disappeared. Oh. What the hell is going on around here? All right, my, my schizophrenia. Where'd my killers go? Right, my schizophrenia. Bartolo? We're late. We gotta go. What's going on? Who are you? No time to explain. We gotta get to the Go where? The end? What does that even mean? You don't get it, do you? No? You're dead. I'm dead. Got that? I'm dead. Yes, very. Jesus. Come on now, there's no time to be mopey. Then what was the point of it all? Of life? I don't know. I'm death for Pete's sake. Oh, oh come on now. There's no, there's no reason to be worried. Now you can just sit back and relax, kick your feet up. Come on, let's go. Warning. Please be advised, the following content is not scripted and the subjects were unaware of the participation in this film. Under no circumstances should these actions be requited, and this is their first time seeing the film along with you. This is an interview with Prosper regarding his most illicit and profitable scam, ProsperCoin. What are you here today to talk about? ProsperCoin. And what is ProsperCoin? 
It's a manual ledger based version of the blockchain. It basically allows uh, people like us, like the youth, to invest uh, in cryptocurrency. And how do you think your cryptocurrency holds up compared to others? I mean, it's not subject to the crashes, sort of like global, you know, like China, that whole shutting down crypto thing. Prosper Coin was not affected by that. Do you think that your coin will be successful? Yes. What do you say to the allegations that your cryptocurrency is a scam? It's, um, uh, whatever, you know. Like, I mean, yes. You know, you can make a bunch of money on it. That's that's all I'm saying. Osprey? Yeah? How are you doing? Um, I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great on this evening. Um, so would it's you not talk... evening, it's morning. Okay. So would you talk about Prosper Coin with us? I already talked about that in the interview thingy. Okay, will you talk about what happened? What happened at the Where's end? Where's my f money, Prosper? Oh. Where is it? No. I paid him. Where is it? I, I Where is it? I, I think I paid him. <laughs> Basically, it's like a way of uh, doing transactions. Like it's a currency, uh, but each time there, when there are more transactions that happen, oh, something fell off. Well, uh, more blocks are added to the chain. Um, but my chain is like a closed chain. Like it's like this. You can't you can't add any more uh, blocks to the chain. That's basically so I basically fraud like defraud my like customers or whatever. That blockchain is a fancy way of saying it's like a ledger. Are you ledgers like Alcatel ledgers? Are you gonna go away for tax fraud? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know about taxes. Not if people start calling you store. Do you do you pay your taxes? I I I no comment. I have the scheme where I scheme. Basically, okay. So imagine this. Okay, there are three dollars. Okay, now this is illegal, of course, but um, there's three uh, Excuse me, I would like to interrupt. I'm James Kwan, president of Investment Club. Prosper Coin here and Prosper. He, he's fully affiliated. No, they're affiliated. Not fully affiliated. Not fully, fully affiliated. Fully affiliated. 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 I do not know why they're here. They say that this is so good. You, you break this up into segments. Actually, I need my notebook. Um, as long as you have more than half of a dollar bill, it is considered a legal tender. So basically... Uh, you can actually turn three dollars into four dollars um, with a very, very simple, a very simple uh, is he, is he okay? method. That you just need bad. to use some scissors, um, it, and that's legal tender. And they're all, they're all basically legal tender. tender. Even if it has a, a section out of it, there's still uh, more than half of the of the dollar bill there. All right, you guys are you done. Out. Are you out. Out. I think nope, you're done. We should, you probably probably Canada. we should probably make Canada. <laughs> the seminar is over. Canada. Canada. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Now, here are some genuine reactions that the public had to the effects Prosper Coin has had on society. And why did you buy Prosper Coin? So I asked her out about 17 times, and she kept saying no, so I bought P Prosper Coin, and then she said yes. Yeah, I wasn't really into him, but then he got Prosper Corn, and now I see him a whole different way. We've been dating for like six weeks now. Give me back my Prosper Coin! Yeah. Bro, bro, bro. You got that Prosper Coin? Interested in investing in the, the company? In the Prosper. Prosper. Here's you my can question. invest, okay? I think I can. How much are you? $200. $200? Put it on the table. We'll talk. I want the truth, Prosper. Where's the money? I, I don't know what, what money. I don't. I don't even know. Why am I even here? I don't have the money. I don't believe you. We know you have the money. Okay. <laughs> don't call me. I want answers. Now, what, what are you gonna do here? That's right. I can do this all day. I want no. answers. No, I'm not giving you anything. Right. And this is Prosper's brother. Really? A man caught. Okay. No. A man you know, taken. This is oh my God. defamation. There's too much to pay attention And I will sue you for this. And you. And you. I have nothing to do with I'll sue you too, okay? Okay. He's like Donald Trump.
camping trip has been inspirational. Unfortunately, I have run out of food, so I will be cutting my trip short and heading home. I am excited to see my family again. No one's here? What is that? Hello? Come back here. Hello? Hey, is it on? No shit, Sherlock. The red light's blinking. Um, I'm not really sure where to start, but uh, here goes. This is my first video diary in space just for you. I'm Sam Dayholt. I'm the research analyst for our crew. We are Mission Mercutio OK418, and we're headed to the Victoria Colony on the STS Emissary. Hey, um, keep it short. I need the camera for talking to my sister. Hey, you can only have one person talking at a time. I need to be able to contact Houston. Um, that is Alex Warner, our captain, and Cameron Bennett, our comms. We're only a few days into the trip, but I cannot wait to get there. Um, we're headed to the Victoria Colony, and 
we're going to be headed there for the next 30 Earth days. And then after that, we'll be there for three Earth months. Hey, um, is there anything else I should talk about? Wrap it up. It's been about a week since I made one of these videos. Uh, right now, we're worried about the um, photosynthesis simulator. You know, the thing that makes our oxygen. But we should have the materials to fix it. I, I'm missing you more by the day. Well, I, uh, I hope everything's going well back on Earth. Uh, till next time. Uh, this is my... Sam, we need you over here, now. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I'll be back. Uh, someone left the camera on. Hey, um, I miss you. I've been feeling lonely lately. I, uh, I realize I never told you what happened. So it turns out the oxygen compartment being flammable blown off, it closes in the case of Spark. The others were trying to fix the system when uh, the doors shut on Alex and Cameron. I was in the sleeping quarters trying to get some shut eye. I, I should have. We, we didn't think, I didn't think it would be this bad. We, the explosion pushed us off course. So now we're, I'm drifting alone in space. And the explosion broke the, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to navigate this freaking ship. I don't know how it went so wrong, but everything is broken. Everything is destroyed. Alex and Cameron are gone and there's nothing I can do. Houston still hasn't responded to me and I'm out of time. According to the reader, the last of the oxygen is gonna be used up in the next few minutes. Oh my God. I miss fresh, fresh air. I, I miss walking in the water, on the sand. I miss stupid Leo and Clover. I miss the people that drive me crazy. I still love them. I miss all the plans we made together for the future. But more than that, more than anything, I miss you. I miss you more than anything in the world. So I just, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Wow, that was pretty breathtaking. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Well, nonetheless, I think it's time, fellow audience members, we appreciate all the effort and energy that these filmmakers have put into these amazing films. 
Now, to recognize some of the best talent in the Minor Film Festival 2022, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Fish. <laughs> Just kidding. They didn't give me one of the mics on my face, so I gotta hold it. Um, thanks to everybody for being here tonight. Thank you, Ainsley and Grant. Um, they did a great job hosting, didn't they? Let's give it up for Ainsley and Grant. There we go. Um, fun fact, it's not technically a film festival if you don't give out awards at the end. So let's get started. Uh, the first award that we're going to give tonight is for Best Sound Design. The Best Sound Design Award is given for the use and balance of a film's dialogue, effects, and music to boost the emotional power of the film. Tonight's nominees are Alone Again, The Good, The Bad, and The Burger, Humphrey Dumphrey, and Vinny and the Boss. Okay. And the winner of Best Sound Design is Brent Allen Johnson for Vinny and the Boss. <laughs> Congratulations. The next award is for Best Cinematography, awarded for highly impactful shot composition that strengthens the film's message through camera work and image. The nominees are The Good, The Bad, and The Burger. Humphrey Dumphrey. Yeah. Life is happening now. Yeah. And swimming with the fishes. And the winner for best cinemato cinematography is Andrew Sweeney for The Good, The Bad, and The Burger. Up next is the award for best editing, awarded for editing that tells a story efficiently and seamlessly and weaves the film together in an invisible or unique way. The nominees are Alone Again, Going Up the Country, Life is Happening Now, and Swimming with the Fishes. And the winner of Best Editing is Eddie Slobodo for Alone Again. Our next award is for Best Performance. This award is pre presented to a student whose character portrayal is believable and convicting. Tonight's nominees are Thomas Glassman in Atomic Number no. 8. Jagger Hudson in Awesome Man. Brian Johnson in Vinny and the Boss. And James Kwan in The Investor. And the winner of Best Performance is Brian Johnson as the Boss in Vinny and the Boss. Our fifth award tonight is for Best Original Story. Uh, films in this category tell unique, captivating, or intimate stories, or dare to broach difficult topics or situations. Tonight's nominees are Dave Hates the Earth, Skimming, The Investor, and Petals. And the winner for Best Original Story is Sage Adler for Petals. That brings us to our last award of the night, the Maddox Award for Best Picture, which is given in honor and memory of the founder of the PCHS film program, Christopher Maddox. The nominees are The Good, The Bad, and The Burger, Life is Happening Now, Swimming with the Fishes, and Vinny and the Boss. 
And the winner of the Minor Film Festival 2022 Maddox Award for Best Picture is... Drumroll. Luke Berg for Life is Happening Now. Luke coming up. Luke, it is my honor to bestow upon you that which Park City High School film program holds most dear, the camera trophy. And <laughs> Luke, please say a few words. I'm really honored to receive this award. Um, I want to thank all of you guys for being out here tonight. It means a lot to me. I also want to give a special thanks to my friend Lucas Gogger, who's watching this from Wisconsin. He was the other filmer and editor who helped create the film. I also want to give a special thanks to Mr. Fish. Can we get a round of applause? So, um, yeah, Mr. Fish has helped my film journey the past few years. Um, he's mentored me, taught me, and helped me a ton throughout the past three years. And um, he's also lend me gear that was extremely expensive, stuff that I could never afford. So I want to thank you for that again. Um, but yeah, I've been into filmmaking for the past few years, and it's um, opened up a ton of opportunities for me. And um, it's let me met um, some of the best videographers across the, the nation, and I'm just super thankful for that. And um, yeah, it's been a journey. The past three years have been really fun. So can't wait to see where it takes me in the future. Thank you, guys. Stay up here for a second. Yeah, Congratulations to all the filmmakers. Um, and thank you as well. Oh, wait, this, uh, whatever. To Mr. Halleck and Mr. Jensen and their stage crew for putting on another amazing show for us tonight. Uh, and finally, to all of you who took time out of your busy lives to come and share these films with us tonight. Thanks, and have a good night, Park City. If you made a film, come to the front. If you're a film student and you made a film, come up. Richard, Richard.